But first, just 30 years ago, nobody could have told you what this object was, let alone the kind of wonders you could work with it. Times have changed, and today it's hard to imagine a single modern home or office without at least one of these revolutionary devices. It takes about 90 minutes to assemble a computer. The hard disk drive is first. The reading head reads the information. An extremely precise piece of kit, the space between it and the hard disk is as thin as a hair. The hard disk is installed in its position within the computer. There are two other units which safeguard information the removable disk reader and the CD-ROM drive, which allows for the reading and execution of programs recorded on compact disks. These two units are placed into position. The spinal column of the computer is the motherboard. It's to this unit that the other elements of the computer are connected. This cooler dissipates the heat generated by the chipset. Certain sound cards are integrated directly on the motherboard. These connections in sequence are the audio input, its output and the microphone port. This retaining ring secures the video card during transport. And this thermal unit measures the temperature emitted between the processor and the motherboard. The processor is the brains of the system. It interprets, calculates and executes the instructions given to it. The processor rests on this base. The processor's cooler dissipates the intense heat. Its efficiency depends on the type of material used and a conducting material assures better cooling. The RAM memory stores short-term information but erases it when the current is turned off. This memory is more rapid than that of the hard disk or the CD-ROM. Now they integrate everything in the case. It protects the internal elements from the external elements. At this stage, they install the electronic components in the case. Several connectors of the case are connected to the motherboard, such as various light indicators. This is the output connection for the video card, which links the computer to the monitor. We also see the video chip, which creates images in two and three dimensions. Here is the video memory. The more its capacity is increased, the clearer the image displayed on the monitor. The video card is placed into position. This modem allows two computers to communicate. Its capacitors produce the perfectly clean phone signal to facilitate communications. These modem chip connectors control information circulating between the two computers. The fax modem is then installed. The power supply transforms electricity according to the voltage required by the different components. The computer's interior cabling is installed. It allows information to travel between the different... The IDE cable is connected to the CD-ROM. The last electrical wires are connected to the different computer components. The assembly of 30 components of the computer is now finished. Just before closing the case, they test each computer to verify the good functioning of the peripherals. They then close up and proceed to packaging. This company produces about 300 computer units every day.